Now in order to do 73, you've got to remember about i's. So what is an i? Well, it turns out the square root of negative 1 uh, is an imaginary number. If I have two of them together, square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, or i times i, this would equal just negative 1. Uh, let me erase that. Okay, so i squared would be negative 1. Um, you can write that out. i squared equals negative 1. And we can see that it has to be negative 1 because square root of a number times the square root of a number is going to equal that number. So what if I have three of them? Negative square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, or i to the third. Okay, well, this would be negative 1 times i. How about negative i? Lastly, I got square root of negative 1, square root of negative 1, square root of negative 1, square root of negative 1. This would be i to the fourth. What's i to the fourth? Well, here's negative 1, here's negative 1, so this must be 1. Every number, every power after this is going to repeat. So i to the fifth would be like i to the fourth, or 1, times uh, square root of negative 1. So just going to be... This is i, so it's just going to be i again. So i to the first, i to the second is negative 1, i to the third is negative i, i to the fourth is 1, and then the pattern repeats. So i to the fifth um, is i, i to the sixth would be negative 1, i to the seventh would be negative i, and then i to the 8th is back to what i to the 4th is, just 1, and so on. These just keep repeating. Okay, So like I said, you're going to need to know that in order to do 1 plus i to the 4th. Well, this is going to be the 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 row, Okay, because it's a power of 4. The only one we really need to worry about is the i, because 1 to the 4th and 1 to the 3rd isn't going to change much, but here's i to the fourth will be here, then i to the third, then i squared, and then just i, and this one's going to have nothing. Okay, well, uh, we have 1 plus 4i. What's i squared again? Back up to my little chart, i squared is negative 1. So this number becomes negative 1, so that's negative 6. What's i to the third? Back up to my chart i to the third is negative i, so this becomes negative 4i. i to the fourth is 1. So this just becomes 1. So I have 1 plus 4i minus 6 minus 4i plus 1. Well, the 4i's cancel. I'm left with 1 minus 6 plus 1 or negative 4. Okay? This was number 70.